What? Obamacare is not working? Are you waiting for Ohio's health insurance marketplace? How's it going, everyone? I'm Joey Jingola with Jingola Insurance. And on today's health insurance break, yeah, I'm going to have to tell you that the Ohio health insurance marketplace, the big thing about Obamacare, well, it's, it's not working so well. And I just want to kind of tell you that it's not working and let you know what you should be doing while we're waiting. So stick around because you're going to want to hear this. So I've been getting a lot of phone calls, emails from people saying, hey, Joey, what's going on? I, this thing, it's not working. What should I be doing? I'm, I'm nervous. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm breaking out in cold sweats. Please help me. I don't know what to do. So what's going on? What, what's the deal? Why does this thing kind of suck right now? Well, to put it simply, the Ohio health insurance marketplace and every other federally run marketplace from what I can tell is just simply not ready. I was talking with a representative from an insurance company a couple weeks ago who works in direct contact with these federal marketplace people who help them set this stuff up. And they told me that the communication needed to verify your tax credit subsidy, your income, all that financial stuff that basically lets you determine how much money is going to be taken off your health insurance to verify that with the IRS. Well, that's not working all that well. And that's what's holding things up. And I don't know that it was even close to being ready to work well from that conversation just a few weeks ago. The scariest part about that conversation, well, that health insurance rep also told me that something of this size generally has months and months and, and months of testing before it is even considered a possibility to be brought live to you. And as of that conversation, that insurance company representative had not seen a working version of the marketplace yet. I mean, I don't want to be, you know, a Debbie Downer here, if you will, but it really appears that they have just kind of stuck to this October 1st deadline out of their own stubbornness, possibly stupidity, maybe in fear that if they were to delay the, the launch of these marketplaces, that it would give some the political power to point to the entire law's ability to function properly. So, but basically I just, you know, I don't want to sit here and, and kind of beat a dead horse or a limp horse or a lame horse or whatever you'd want to call it. Could be dead, it could be limp, whatever. I'm not going to get into the specifics of that, but I did, I did just want to tell you that it's, it's really not working for everybody, myself included. Uh, this is just not ready to go yet, and we just kind of have to sit tight. So the final question you might be asking yourself is, what should you do while we wait? Well, that answer depends on who you are. If you are a person who has done a very cool and smart thing and allowed me the privilege to assist you with your health insurance, well, you don't have to do much of anything right now. Is just sit tight, and I will definitely let you know as soon as this information, this option becomes available and everything starts kind of functioning the way it should. If not, you just enjoy hanging around with all of us uh, health insurance, Affordable Care Act nuts around here. Well, that's cool. Thank you for, you know, thanks for hanging out with us. We do appreciate you. It's, it does give you time to still do a very cool and smart thing and let me kind of map out things for you, uh, kind of get my hands dirty with your specific situation and really help understand what route is going to be the best for you. If that's not your style, you're kind of a lone wolf, you want to do things on your own and you really are just shaken about talking to a health insurance agent, well, first I'd ask you to reconsider as, you know, I'm talking to you right now and it's okay, we're doing okay. You, you haven't passed out. There hasn't been any bodily harm done to you, uh, at least that I'm aware of. But if you do feel compelled, ambitious, and you do finally find a way to officially apply for Ohio's health insurance marketplace, well, I just simply encourage you to include this information that's right here. Uh, what you're seeing here, obviously my, my full name, uh, Joseph R. Jingola Jr. Middle name's Ralph. My dad gave it to me. And yes, I was uh, mean enough to give it to my son too. But that aside, my full name and that number right there, that's my national producer number. If you go ahead and put this on the application, there's a spot there that says, are you working with or helping getting help from any agent broker or whoever? Put my name on that application. And what that's going to allow you to do is to receive assistance from me if probably more like when something does not go right with this, this process or something happens with your health insurance that you really need expert advice and guidance on. I'll just kind of be your backup safety plan and for that. Of course, that's not going to add to the cost of your health insurance. It's going to remain the same regardless of if you put that information or not. It's basically kind of like going in the self-serve gas station line when the full service lane is, is the same price. I mean, can we get a more timely reference here? I mean, when was the last time anybody had a full service gas lane? Can we get more time the references? Just the person that writes the references? Do we have a reference writing person? Where are they at? I want to see them after this video. The bottom line, I know you've been waiting a very long time possibly to apply for these marketplaces and get this guaranteed coverage at a potentially significantly reduced price. And who wouldn't be? But we're just going to have to probably wait a little bit longer to do it. 
what I'm going to want you to do in the meantime is to definitely not buy into all the fluffy kittens and rainbows commercials that you're going to see on TV here on the radio, see on the web, promoting the health insurance marketplaces and how easy it is to just go ahead and, and pick a plan. There's going to be more differences now between Ohio health insurance companies than ever before. What's happening with their networks of doctors and hospitals and how they're going to require you to get treatment is something you're going to want to know and make sure that you have the best information available to you before making that decision. So if you want the best information I've been able to put together in a PDF at this time, well, I'd encourage you to go ahead and download our guide, How to Understand Ohio's Health Insurance Marketplace. It's going to give you all that necessary information as, as best as I can keep it updated. And you can go ahead and grab that by clicking on this ebook right here. If you don't want to click on the ebook, you can grab the link right below in the video's description. So of course, I do want to thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. It means a lot to me. And as always, I am Joey Jingola with Jingola Insurance. Take it easy, everyone.